Let's take a minute to focus on how to fish a specific pool on a creek in the back cast. Step out of the truck, walk right up to the creek and decide, okay, how are we gonna fish this? What are we gonna do in this certain segment or section of water? I spent some time on Puta Creek in Northern California with Happy Naguyan, who's the owner of Good Water Fly Fishing. And we talked about analyzing a certain pool that we were standing there in front of and what he would do in his strategy and tactics. So in this um, little run or pool here, what I'm looking at is how the water is coming in and into this this uh, this pool here so as you look up you have this nice uh, almost white water or run coming down here and creating this pool but you're kind of looking at where all the water kind of splits and diverges so you have all these big boulders in the, the bottom of this riffle that creates all this different seams and current kind of being pushed through here so you're kind of looking at how the water is getting pushed into this pool uh, where the main current is and that will kind of dictate where where the your main channel is um, so then from there you're kind of just picking apart each individual seam working your way in close and then slowly working your way out so you're looking at the seams you're also looking at some pockets of slow water so kind of um, in between this closer seam and that further out seam there's a pocket of water where the fish will sit to rest um, just because you know fish are lazy sometimes you know they're they're gonna want to take the the path of less resistance so by sitting there they're able to rest um, but also see any food that's coming down through either side of these channels or seams so as you're looking here a lot of the food is coming down from this rapid and then getting kind of pushed into this hole so here the fish are going to kind of tend to hang up a little bit more at the tail end of that rapid or the top of this run here uh, because that's where all the food is being funneled down um, but they'll they'll sit all the way down as far as that bubble line you can kind of follow that bubble line that will kind of show where that main seam or that main current comes back together and that's where the um, concentration of food is being pushed down would you completely bypass this flattened out part i i would just because a couple reasons one the water is so slow that you're not going to get a really good proper presentation your flies are going to be sitting there and then two um, because we have a couple split shots on your flies are just going to sink right to the bottom and sit there um, you could take off your split shots, but still the water is so slow that the fish don't really tend to sit there. They're going to tend to sit in water that's a little bit more moving. Um, it's going to be a little bit more cooler in that moving water and a little bit more oxygenated. Um, plus that's where the main um, food source is traveling through. Really got some really good information from Happy Naguyan. He is the owner of Good Water Fly Fishing. We spent a lot of time right here on Puta Creek. It's some really technical water, and so having somebody to kind of help learn those skills and the techniques in this area, as well as put you on fish, is really helpful. Let us know. We'll put you in touch with him. He also guides Drift Boat on Sacramento River, American River, and Feather River of Northern California. Let us know. We'll put you in touch. We'll see you right here next time on the Backcast.